Learning Leadership, The Five Fundamentals of Becoming an Exemplary Leader B. James M. Coses and Barry Z. Posner Book Review. Hello friends. Today I am going to review the book, Learning Leadership, The Five Fundamentals of Becoming an Exemplary Leader by James M. Coses and Barry Z. Posner. Everyone leads. Today, millennial workers entering the workforce often find scant corporate commitment to their development. This lack of training will worsen the current worldwide shortage of exemplary leaders who can create, shared values, and, vision. Such leaders take risks, seek challenges and seize the initiative. They rally others to their cause by creating trust, helping people develop and recognizing good work. Wise executives at the top of today's firms worry about having enough exemplary leaders to meet their corporation's demands. Lower trust in leaders adds to the current leadership crisis. But anyone, at any level or rank or with any title, can learn to build trust, gain followers and lead effectively. Everyone leads, and most leaders use at least some of the best practices and core principles associated with exemplary leadership. The consistency as well as the frequency of that usage marks the difference between adequate leaders and brilliant ones. Sadly, most individuals lead tentatively and sporadically. Leadership is not a gene. It is not a trait. There is just no hard evidence to suggest that leadership is imprinted in the DNA of some people and not others. People achieve leadership greatness by wanting it badly enough and by digging into deliberate practice, constant learning and sheer determination. The misguided notion that you don't have the talent or personality to lead gets in the way of actually becoming a better leader. The workplace and the world need more people to step up to the challenge of leadership and make a difference. People who inspire confidence and drive others to achieve top performance make their organizations and the world a better place. To get better at leading, you have to get gritty. You have to persist in the face of difficulties, thinking more like a marathoner than a sprinter. If you want to become a great leader, remind yourself frequently that you can learn to lead brilliantly. Start a leadership journal. Write about what you want to achieve as a leader and the difference you want to make for other people. Think about a time in your life or career when you experienced your personal best leadership experience. Describe it in detail in your journal, including the actions you undertook that make this incident a special success. The Five Fundamentals of Exemplary Leadership Begin your study and determine practice of the five fundamentals of exemplary leadership. Record your progress in your journal daily. Believe you can. Belief in yourself starts with self-knowledge. Consider what you value, what drives you, and what excites you and challenges you. Understanding these aspects of yourself will help you encourage others to re-examine themselves as well. Commit to constant learning and make learning a way of life. Before anything and everything else, develop learning skills. Learning means leaving your comfort zone, so take on challenging, stretch assignments. Forget about only playing to your strengths. Work on your weaknesses, too. At first, imitate great leaders whom you admire. Practice their ways and learn from them. When you start to feel uncomfortable mimicking others, move to the next stage, experimenting with different managerial styles that align with your leadership beliefs and values. Only three things happen naturally in organizations, friction, confusion and interperformance. Everything else requires leadership. Gradually, you'll develop an authentic leadership style of your own. It will retain the best elements of others' methods, but it will come from your unique individuality, your background, experiences, values and beliefs. To accelerate your path to authentic leadership, use your journal to record the patterns that reappear in your life, what discourages and inspires you. Record your high and low experiences, and what made them good or bad, along with how you got yourself out of the lows, or, valleys. Aspire to excel. Define your values and principled beliefs so you can communicate them clearly. People trust and follow leaders whose beliefs they understand. The strongest and most enduring principles and motivations have nothing to do with money and prestige. They come from your intrinsic desire to change things for the better and to help others. Courage gives you the energy to move forward. Courage gives you the confidence to believe you can make it. Courage gives you the strength to sustain yourself in the darkest hours. Don't practice better leadership for its external rewards. Let your interests and internal motivation to improve other people's lives and careers guide you. Process and consider what goes on around you. Listen to everyone, but don't heed just what people talk about. Be aware of what they're silent about, what they don't say. Use what you learn to imagine the future, so you can plan ahead instead of reacting to change and disruptions. Then you can lead your team in creating a compelling shared view of the future, an outlook with purpose and meaning. 
Success comes by taking regular small steps forward, and disappointment is more likely to occur when you attempt giant leaps. Learn to serve others and to enlist other people's support. No leader does anything remarkable alone. You cannot lead without followers. Recognize your employees' good work and make sure your vision of the future resonates with them. Understand what your people want, and show them how your vision and shared purpose align. Help people understand what's in it for them. The only person's behavior anyone can control is his or her own. In your journal, write what you'd like people to say about you as a leader when you retire. Reflect on what you would like them to remember. List the people you rely on most. Next to each name, record the values, aspirations, and purpose you believe each person holds. Meet with them one-on-one -on -one to learn their answers. Find common themes emerging among those people whose support you need the most. Challenge yourself. You cannot excel by staying the same. Seek new and uncomfortable challenges. Taking on a challenge helps you achieve flow, a state in which you perform at your peak and find the greatest satisfaction. Don't avoid risk or live tentatively. Be willing to commit errors, fail and learn. When you fail at first, stick with your goal. Grit always beats talent. Know your priorities and go after them. Think long term. You have courage. Everyone does. Use it to manage your fears and draw on your strengths. Exercise your bravery. Speak up when you disagree. Use fear to motivate you, to learn, to rise to the occasion and to persist in the face of adversity. In your journal, list the traits and abilities you need to develop as a leader. Choose a challenge that will take you outside of your comfort zone, like joining Toastmasters to face your fear of speaking in public. Recall a major loss or failure in your past. Consider what you did to bounce back. Your beliefs about your ability to learn are where it all starts. They influence your motivation, your level of effort, your desire to persist and your openness to feedback. Write about your proudest, most courageous acts, in whatever context. Think about what those events taught you. Draw on them when necessary. Engage support. Have you noticed that whenever people receive recognition or win an award, they thank all of the people who helped them? Nothing great happens when you act solo without asking for help. Your relationships drive your achievements as a leader. Reach out to those around you, including your employees, for advice. Learn to understand other people better and to enlist their support. Valid and useful feedback is essential to learning. Learning cannot happen without knowing how you are doing and without identifying what you need to change to improve. In your journal, write down the names of the people who help you the most. List others who could or would support you if they knew you better. Meet with the people on both lists, tell them what you need and ask for their help. In addition, make a list of the half dozen or so most important people in your network, your personal board of directors. Ask them for guidance and assistance whenever you need inspiration. Observe and connect with other people, especially the exemplary leaders you admire. Don't wait for them to come to you, they never will. They're too busy responding to those who showed courage by asking for their support. Ask to connect with them. Schedule appointments to speak with the people in your network and build the relationships you need. Don't be shy about learning their top skills and most effective behaviors so you can communicate with them knowledgeably. Leaders can differ in lots of personal ways, but exemplary leaders universally engage in very similar practices. Leadership makes a difference. That difference can be negative or positive, but it does make a difference. To build trust give people attentive, detailed, practicable feedback. That ensures that you will receive worthwhile feedback from them in return. Start by asking someone you trust to observe you interacting at work, in a meeting or elsewhere. Have them coach you afterward. Thank them for their observations and record their insights in your journal. Practice deliberately. Practice is the reason top professionals perform their arduous tasks with apparent ease. That ease inspires people to believe mistakenly in natural leadership talent. No such thing exists. Only, deliberate practice, leads to greatness. Structure your leadership practices, think about what you do, set goals, devise techniques, build muscle memory, and form healthy, disciplined habits, especially the habit of constant learning. Practice and improve every day. Only you can make and sustain positive change in your life. Create time for practice by making your work itself into leadership practice. For example, develop a process you consciously repeat, such as listening attentively. For instance, decide that you will try not to interrupt other people. Make a deliberate habit of reflecting on what the other person is saying, and of avoiding the urge to think ahead of him or her to plan your own response. 
your success as a leader links inextricably to how well you understand others' hopes, dreams, and aspirations. In your journal, describe your progress daily and reflect on what you could have done better. Don't fall for the popular notion that you should focus only on your strengths. As a leader, you can't delegate your weaknesses, so work on them, too. Use your journal to list the skills you want to improve. The most frequently occurring word that characterized a culture of leadership was trust. If leaders are going to grow and thrive, people need to trust one another. Try to choose the right context for your leadership development. You'll do much better in an organization that values the process of building leadership, engaging in lifelong learning and collaborating. Seek a company that rewards risk rather than one that fears it. Look for or create an environment of trust and a culture of curiosity. In your journal, track your progress on practicing these five fundamental leadership development activities. Every day, answer these questions. Did I do my best to seek challenges, keep positive, consider the long term, get help from others and practice? Grit, determination and action. Exemplary leadership doesn't come from your genetic makeup or any aspect of your background. It only comes from hard work, constant learning and commitment. Make a decision to pursue it, announce your decision publicly and create obstacles to make retreat difficult. Leadership has an impact on people's commitment, their desire to stay or leave, their willingness to put forth more discretionary effort, and their inclination to take personal initiative and responsibility. Act, practice and learn. Take small, meaningful steps. Make progress every day toward your goal of becoming an exemplary leader. Take a ways. Everyone leads, and anyone can learn to lead brilliantly. Leadership ability comes from intent and practice, not DNA or innate talent. The five fundamentals of leadership are Believe you can. To develop your leadership style, know your values and principles. Know that you can learn to lead well. Aspire to excel. Help your team create a shared vision with purpose and meaning. Challenge yourself. Seek stretch assignments and growth opportunities. Engage support. Ask others for advice, help and support. Get and give feedback. Learn to serve others. Practice leadership, deliberately. Embrace constant learning. Focus on your strengths and weaknesses. Experiment. Leave your comfort zone so you learn and grow. Seek or create a firm with a supportive, collaborative culture where you can develop or create the culture you seek. To be authentic, hold firm to your beliefs and speak up when you disagree. Take the long view. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.